Eche Kofis Regi from MTG Multimedia. We are here for business up close. We've been to other shops and asked them how business is going. Even though the economy is some way, we still try to gather some information from there. So please, may I know your name? My name is Dick Nelson Tete. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Nelson. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, do you know the name of your business? The business about the pharmacy yes. is Henopa Pharmacy. Henopa Pharmacy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Henopa Pharmacy, uh, I would like to ask, is there any uh, reason behind the name Henopa? There's a reason behind but that one is a closer with uh, this thing. So oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, um, not, uh, I want to ask, do, uh, what's the vision? Our mm. vision is to become a leading pharmaceutical company in Ghana. Oh, okay. And then our mission is uh -huh. to provide a first class pharmaceutical solution for our customers. All right. And then the stakeholders. All right. That's nice. Uh, we believe a lot of pharmacies or businesses, they have their core brand values. Mm. Yes. And I would like to know Henopes, uh code. Our core brand value is STARS. STARS. Mm -hmm. Then the S stands for service. Service, okay. Service. That means welcoming, attentive, mm -hmm. and efficient. All right. And then the T stands for trust. Trust. All right. Like the customer have to have trust in us. And then that is the honesty. All right. That one is a honesty, responsibility, responsibility. and reliable. Reliability, mm. okay. All right. And then the action is hard working. Mm -hmm. Energetic and motivation. Right, right. Then the arrow in it is relationship, committed, supportive, and encouraging. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the S, the last S is smiles. Smiles. That one to be positive, confident, and courteous for right. customers. Mm -hmm. right. Interesting. So let me. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Is practice. We mm. know some workplaces they do certain things. They say they practice this, they do this, but some places it is just by words they mm. say, but they don't practice. And it's good. I know some. I've learned something new. So I'd like to ask: um, Do you have any other branches? We don't have any other branches. Okay. This, only this, this is the only branch you have. All right. And you are being, uh, You are the manager here. Yeah. The manager as well. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. We know in every business or uh, institutions there are certain challenges that they face. Mm. Some with thefts and other kind of things. So, what are your main challenges? Let's oh. see. Where you started this business? Mm. The challenges you went through and everything. Can you just share your experience oh, with us? I can say our main challenges that we encounter is about our financial problems. Okay. And then I think that's the only one we can say for now. That we are trying to get all things so that we can go in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the times <coughs> you have to go and then approach some banking institutions for help because the business is not easy. Okay. Uh -huh. So most of the times you have to be reliable to the bankers so that whenever they give, they give you uh, anything like mm -hmm. a loan, no. you can pay, then after that they can take you on for another one. All right. Mm -hmm. So most of the times it's about the financial institutions that we rely on most of the times too. No, it's mm -hmm. just like every business is mostly talking about finances. Mm -hmm. So should we say someone, let's say organization that has money, is that the, when they have the money or resources, is that we know some a lot of pharmacy people say uh, they are petty, petty theft. Some people steal medicines or they even bring in their own medicine and mm. sell to people and leave what they have there. So, do you also face that one too? Uh, we do, we do. Formally, we do face those things, but now we put things together well okay. so that we are well established. So, we have to put things together well. Okay. So, CCT camera I is in that. everything, uh -huh. then okay. they're talking. Everything so those things can cut down the okay. those problems for us. All right. Um, so uh, how do you manage some of them? Let's see medicines. Some get lost or whatever. I know some pharmacies they did that from workers' salary. So do you also do that? For now, we don't encounter those problems. For now, no. so I don't know. So when you, when it happens, that one you, yeah, we'll have to. We'll find that. a way. Mm. All right. Good. 
So uh, I would like to ask that since these are some of the challenges, do you still have plan of maybe getting other branches or continue oh, yeah. with the work, or you just maintain what you have? No, we do, we do, we do have a plans to ex okay. expand our branches to okay. some places that we can start another one another from there. One. But in future, that is the plan that we are going no. to. Uh, All right, so, uh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. My next question I would like to ask is so, let's say pharmacy. I'm not a pharmacist and I want to own a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Do I have to school first or I can get anyone to open a pharmacy for me? Okay. Maybe uh, get Normally, in. establishments of the pharmacy is that it depend only on the school. Like okay. somebody being a pharmacist before you can establish a pharmacy shop. Okay. You can get somebody who is a pharmacist and then right. take his license nice. to establish yours. And that one also can... And it's not for free. I'm sure it it's involves not, a lot. Oh, it involves uh, 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 money. Okay. A lot of money. So let's say I'm starting a business and I don't really have the capital. And I want to start maybe a pharmacy, but the money involved is too much. Is it possible the pharmacist that I want him to use his or alliances to launch a, a pharmacy for me, go for a loan? It on my behalf it depends okay. you have to go in for a loan and then you invite a pharmacist to okay. help you to establish the, the one all right mm -hmm. so okay so let's say if i want to start a pharmacy what would be like uh, the minimum Computer amount intensive. i need mean, yes It'd be around 120 150 ghana cities wow mm. that's interesting okay that's that would nice. be 120,000. Wow. Mm, no, 50 yes. cities. 120,000. Thousand cities. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, that's quite a lot. But, all right. There is still a good business because yeah. since profits and stuff are made, yeah. it's a good business. Mm, the so way right. you manage it, mm. make a profit. Any business, the way you manage it, make a profit. Yeah. If you don't profit. manage it, you, yes. you, you yeah. get lost. Uh -huh. okay. So, any business, that is how it is. All right. So, um, have you encountered, like, maybe you have customers coming or maybe uh, patients but what they have is not enough maybe they want to purchase something they need it urgently but maybe what they have is not enough do you sometimes consider them or oh, we do, do you consider do? them at times because they are our customers right. because of them that's why we are here so most of the times uh, you trust the person so if the person come in with let's say 20 cities Meanwhile, the medicine costs about 50 cities. Mm -hmm. We can let the person take it and then okay. pay the one you have. Then later, it comes with it. All right. the rest. Uh -huh. So that one there right. is done everywhere, mm, depending okay. on how you related to the people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, is there a situation whereby you do, um, let's say, free, I know pharmacy, they do free BP tests, blood tests and stuff. So do you also like- For now, we have customers? so many. We have so many tests that we do. Okay. Mostly malaria tests we do, but we take a charge of it. All mm. right. Because we are using the machines. Right. Formerly, machines are very cheaper. Now, those things that we are using really are very expensive. expensive. So okay. for that one, they will charge. So even uh, BP it, just test? A, oh, just, yeah. BP, 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 BP okay. very soon will start giving out free. So. All right, sure. But okay. for now, they will charge BP for two okay. services. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So um, let's see the pharmacy business. Is it that you noticed that uh, maybe this area, the, this kind of groups, either maybe the uh, adults or maybe teenagers or let's say the old people, did you mm. target like those people before launching? Because you know, if uh, uh, the older people we have in our communities, most of them are exposed to BP, diabetes mm. and stuff. So do you like, uh, did, you lead, did you get the motivation from there as well? Normally we consider most I can say all the community, okay. but our focus is on the uh, the ages. Yes, uh, aged. Oh, yeah, yes. the ages are the most people that we focus on. Okay. And then later, I can say the youth as well. All right. But we do advise the youth for some grass that they take, yes, yes. which is not supposed <laughs> to take a hand. So for yeah. that, when they come here to, we try to advise them to, to know okay. how to use the drug. Okay. Uh, so, um, you know, a pharmacy is a business. So is there a situation whereby somebody has come to the pharmacy and the person needs uh, maybe certain medication, but let's say the person doesn't do certain home activities or certain things, exercise, and it's leading to that. 
but the person doesn't require medicine but maybe advice do you sometimes tell them that oh you don't need this medicine for this thing headache or whatever you just have to take maybe enough for to do exercise and stuff or is it that when they come whether you know it doesn't require medicine you still sell it to them okay let me uh, what i would say is this being a pharmacist i can say you are the head of every when even when in the hospital okay so the pharmacists don't say because of the doctor has written a prescription to you don't have a question mm -hmm. you have to ask question okay. before you sell the prescription you have to know whatever the prescription is going to do mm -hmm. for the person uh -huh, or the drug okay. most of the times doctors can make a mistake yes but you are there as a pharmacist to correct that mistake that is why you are here yeah. so when the customer comes with a prescription you must know exactly whatever he told the doctor mm -hmm. at the consulting room before writing that uh, yes. medication okay. so when you see that the medication is not good for the person to take you have in every power to change the medication and okay. advise upon that right. and the person will accept it okay. mm -hmm. all right um, interesting interesting but i also want to ask uh, another question concerning uh, the drugs let's say somebody comes and says that um, I, uh, maybe or bp high blood pressure or something mm. but the person has not been to the hospital to know the type of mm. uh, the situation the person we know we have different types but the person just kind of says blood pressure whatever so he wants medication you know every drug has its different use atinol is different from mm. the others so do you try and find out uh, how they feel and give them the medication mm. or you advise them to go to the hospital and make proper checks of their bodies before they come for the medication normally because the pharmacy is not having the best apparatus here to okay. check on the person's kind of the category A, B, C, like the opposite, a certain. Uh -huh. So we do advise them to go to hospital, then right. let them have the medication from the doctor so okay. that they can. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And most of times, to not all, at times, to somebody may come here with some problems, maybe headache, and then. They talk. You have to take drugs. Not yes. everything you have to take drugs. Yes. There are certain problems. You can even drink water, and, and the problem will just go. Uh -huh. right. At times, so you advise the person to relax, exercise. like have a rest, exercise, and things. And, and, that. Go. Mm. and that makes the person believe in you as a pharmacist. Okay. Uh, all right. I also have a uh, one question to ask. Realize that um, most people, those who come to the pharmacy, some feel they know what they want. Let's say somebody who come, he says, I want a, a particular kind of, let's say, blood tonic, fellow group. Mm -hmm. And you, so we don't have this one, but we have every minamino or something. Some will tell you that, oh, this is the exact thing they want. But it does the same work, or it might even contain the same active ingredient mm -hmm. and stuff. So some convincing them is very, very difficult. So like uh, in your way or style, how, uh, what's the best approach? Or how best do you convince them to purchase the same uh, the drug? Why we have to let the customer believe in your st uh, your staffs. Okay. Uh -huh. So when they have that kind of confidence in you, like the person comes with a problem, so you are able to solve it, then the person became like conversant with you. So normally when it comes and even a doctor has written a prescription you can still go ahead and change it and, and change the person will understand it because yeah. you one day came here with a problem you were able to solve the problem for them so mr nelson yes sir i would like to ask you this question people do business for different reasons or people choose to do certain courses to be uh, to start certain businesses i would like to ask what motivated you to become a pharmacist and decide to own a pharmacy Okay, I can say what motivated me to become a pharmacist is to having a passion okay. for the business. The passion. Yeah, and passion. Then, yeah, passion. Okay. And then from my infancy, yes, I like to have that kind of business. Mm. And so I choose that career to become a pharmacist. All right. At the same time, when I finish school, the community where I live, around Ashoma Estate, I could say that the police. Before you get a pharmacy shop to buy a drug, it's okay. very far. Very far. So I decided to establish one here okay. at a school junction. All right, sure. And that is making me. Uh, so I to be, uh, All right. Yeah, that is it. So it's the passion and uh, about the people. Yeah. You have, uh -huh. Yes. So I like to serve my community well. So.
So like let's say the people they are familiar with you, they have trust in you. Oh yeah. So they come. Even when know. when 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 I was in school, okay. Or maybe when I was working with some other pharmaceutical company, they okay. do come to my house and then take ask advice. Me, mm, right. So that one day. And we know when we were kids, when you get it, they pour certain medicines inside your wound and stuff, mm. even the drugs. What is not meant for that's what they use it yeah. for and those kind of things. So, so I'm sure teaching your people the, uh, about how to take the drugs and stuff has really mm -hmm. helped them. Mm -hmm. yes. so, so that is why they are having a in the Nova Pharmacy. All right. Mr. Nelson, yes, sir? you know every pharmacy there are certain things that go on. Some people they come, they will tell you what is wrong with them, they purchase their own uh, medicines. Some to you try to talk to them. Some mm -hmm. you have to even beg them to take medication. So, what advice will you give to patients or customers out there? What's the uh, uh, message will you give to them? Okay, my general advice for the public. My general advice for the public is this: I want to let the youth know that drugs are can kill you and then can destroy your life. So you seek advice from the pharmacist or a doctor before you take a drug. Uh -huh. So don't see because of the social media has come, the Google is working. Therefore, I can Google my medication or I'm having a headache. Then I Google it and then the phone will tell me what to take. If you follow that social media, Googling or self-medication, you destroy your life. So the general public should make sure that they see a pharmacist or even a doctor before they take their drug. And then when the drug is given to you, you make sure you take the right dose which was prescribed by the pharmacist or the doctor before you take it. Thank you very much. I'm Theophilus Kweje Jayampofo, the co-host for MTG Multimedia's Business Up Close. And today with us we had Mr. Nelson Tete, the general manager for the Henopa Pharmacy. And we got to learn a lot from him. Um, we got to know um, the do's and don'ts so far as um, taking drugs are concerned. Okay, good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. Please, I'm Theophilus. And what's your name? I'm Christine Tamako. Okay, so um, I just want to ask you some few questions um, concerning the Herno Pharmacy. Today we came for an interview now, and I'm from MTG Multimedia. So um, when we talk about Herno Pharmacy, what do you think about Herno Pharmacy, considering their um, 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 customer care and everything. What do you think about it? Well, I could say that this pharmacy has been there for some time now. Okay. And their services are superb. This evening I'm just around to check one or two things and they were always so nice to their customers. So approachable and so customer service. They, 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 they care for their customers very well. Okay. So um, you would like everyone out there to um, visit Hanover Pharmacy for the best a customer care service. Yes, sir. I would like most of the the people in the estate to visit this uh, this pharmacy shop because your your, your products, the, the the medicines are so their 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 prices are so down to it, and almost everything. Your your customer service is very beautiful, very next to nothing. Okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Well, Hello, good evening. Fine evening. Hello, I'm from Ethiopia. What's your name? I'm Okay, but your um, your better interview be was say oh, he no performance as he realized he sell by inside has a better idea. In the last year, this was say yeah, yeah, can he no performance for my customer care who is saying so now um, pharmacy attendant no relate no. How do you see it? Open so now I'm no casa so now I'm no JJ also hard. Yeah, pa, for sure. I'm only in the period of my career. Okay. And now, but now, I'm no more casa so I'm sorry. And I see Bias or Becabian or Mujoso, a team several come. Okay. Mm, the idea almost seven was very good. Okay. It was a pharmacist, you are quite. You are all cast a match and cry and both. When you want any mutual, I also do about money to come up, almost as you come Okay. And you won't say, I shall manage this, I say, no, your pharmacist be brave, and I'm confident to do so, I see. And you'll be recommended, and no pharmacy, I'm a woman with it, I shall manage the Tatiana. Oh, me recommend if you say, I have said, you're more mafic, a drew. Okay. And a drew be as some of the more be at me, a drew. Okay. And to me recommend this will be our person or third drew, dear. 
also timba. Okay. Na utimbe tubi. Alright. Na dadi pacha da sinya misha. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Boss, good evening. Fine. Uh, you're from the office now, sir. El Popo. I say, El Popo. El Popo, okay. Oh, Nelly. Alright. El Popo, I'm going to tell you about the title of the pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And see, I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy. I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy attendants. I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy attendants. I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy attendants. I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy attendants. I'm going to tell you about the pharmacy attendants. Smile at you and welcome you. It's, I mean, it's okay for me, and I think everyone will be okay. Okay. In the I very recommend the Henupa Pharmacy. I'm a Obia or Ashamane State. Yeah, I think it's the best pharmacy ever. Okay. Okay. In the Oban, so I'm treat you well. So only see Kakra, I'm to meet the child, and ah. Oh, and me try that, but how can you come to a pharmacy without money? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, maybe I know Niska, but you really need a drug. Oh, but me saying the me try maybe I. I tried and I tried like I tried to dress normal gym, but I don't know for that is. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I don't know when I'm going to be with you. Rumors. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Theo Plus, what about you? I'm Patience. Okay, so I wanted to ask you some few questions. Um, as a pharmacy attendant at Hanopa Pharmacy, um, what are the challenges you face? Okay, actually we have individual difference. Okay. So some customers will come here with good thoughts or let's say they will come with some prescription. Then you tell them, oh, we have this. What is in your prescription? We don't have. We have different ones there. But since we have individual difference, some will cope and some too will not. And it will lead to fight. But since you know the kind of work you are doing, you have to come to their limits. Like you have to have patience for them. So that it won't lead to any fight or they will go out tarnishing the name of the farmers. So. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Theo Flas I'm Sandra. Okay, so um I want to ask you a, a few questions. So um the first one is since you started here, what has been your working experience, what has been your challenges and what have you been benefiting here? Okay, so since I came here, I've learned a lot of things. How to relate to customers, difficult ones, how to serve customers, how to prescribe medication to customers, even when they come in with their own medicine, how to ask questions about their problems and how to solve them. Yeah, so far I've learned a lot. Okay, so um, based on what you're saying, when, cost, when I interview other customers, they will, they will tell me that you have a good customer care, if I'm right. Yeah. I'm Noel, I check office review from MTG Multimedia, the host for Business Up Close. And I'm Tio Fosco JJ Ampofo, the co-host. So thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to drop it in the comment section below. And follow us on all our social media platforms at mtg underscore multimedia thank you